Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to assign properties to structural elements in the RAM Structural System Modeler. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to assign properties to structural members and walls to satisfy a variety of unique building configurations and to control the design properties for individual members. In this video, you will learn how to move and slope a column in the RAM modeler. When columns are initially modeled, they will automatically be modeled as vertical elements. To adjust a column slope or location after it is modeled, you can use the Move Column command. Using this command will allow you to move or slope a column, and the primary beams that are attached to that column will move as the column moves, allowing the beams to stretch or shrink as necessary. For this exercise, we are going to be sloping the columns along grid line B on the third floor layout. Before we do that, let's first review the 3D view of this drawing to see how the columns were initially modeled. Up in our toolbar in the RAM modeler, we will select the 3D view icon and here we can see that those three steel columns are exactly at the grid intersections along grid line B and they are currently modeled as vertical. I'm going to exit the 3D viewer by selecting File Exit and now I'm going to slope these columns. These are steel columns so I must make sure I select my steel material first and they are on the third floor layout and you can see that I currently have that selected. I will now select the Layout Column icon from my Layout Toolbar, which will turn on all of my icons available to modify my column properties. For this exercise, I'm going to be using my Move command, so I'll click on the Move icon from the Layout Column Toolbar. This is a standard base supported column, and you can see here I have several options in the Move box. If I select the top and bottom option, that will actually move the column in the plan location. If I select the top only option or the bottom only option, this will allow you to slope your column. I'm going to go ahead and select the top only, and I'm going to increment the current location. And I'm going to select an X of negative 3 feet, which will move the top of the column 3 feet to the left. This command also simultaneously will adjust your secondary beams and I'm going to go ahead and select the Maintain Global Orientation option. Once I've entered in all of my parameters, I'm going to go ahead and use my Fence tool and then I'm going to draw a fence along all of the columns along grid line B. You can see now that the top of the columns have been moved and my girders are still framing into the center line of these columns and my secondary beams have been stretched. To view the results of this in the 3D view, I can go back and click on my 3D view icon, and now I can see that these columns have now been sloped. To return to my RAM manager, I'm going to go ahead and select File, Exit, and then I'll save my model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.